Hi, welcome back to Stay Out of the House, part 11. We're going to left off of trying to beat the game, and I'm hoping to be able to do it in this episode. So let's get into back to where we were. <coughs> Jesus Christ. A little... Well timed. He also bursted the door open so I didn't need to unlock it. Jesus. Good thing his back was turned. Oh, great. A bear trap. There of all places. Right over top some fucking tripwire rope. Jesus Christ. The timing. Again. I'm amazed he didn't see me and go fucking batshit or anything. Oh, a bear trap there now, too. Ain't that fantastic. He's just putting bear traps everywhere, even though he hasn't spotted me once. I have to be super careful. I can't just roam around with without my lighter. An another bear trap. What is the f- An What the fuck's with this playthrough right now? How many more bear traps has he put fucking down? What is this, like hard mode? There's just bear traps everywhere because he feels like it? And he'll never walk on it himself? I have a bag over his head and just memorize exactly where he puts the fucking bear traps and doesn't fucking step on any of them. I might have to shoot this fucker. I don't. I don't know if I. Uh... Those extend a little too much, I'd say. I've never looked in those, anyways. I didn't even think I could open those. But yeah, this guy's being a little relentless, and he hasn't even technically spotted me. I, I can tell you guys that much right now in this playthrough. Just I have not been spotted. But bear traps everywhere. I'd have to say, I think the AI in this playthrough is a lot better than what I've normally been used to. Where my last episode, during the green screen webcam section, he was wandering the entire house, but never really where I was. I think there should be a general sense where the AI sort of goes where you are, but also doesn't hound too much, as if meta-knowing where you are. At the same time, he's got to lay enough pressure on you where you don't feel like if you have this radar device that you can just evade him all the time. When he stands still and goes places you don't expect, like that one time he was right here on the stairs. So he goes, when they stand still, Sonar's not going to show you the location. It's moments like that. Ugh. Alright, I'm just going to also preemptively take the fucking batteries out. Just so I don't have to do it, and I'm hoping I don't die. But, when the time comes. So I gotta go get the radio, and then go through the van, and continue as I normally would in the game. Just gotta hope he's not standing still somewhere stupid and random. Battery number two. There we go. One more battery. Did you put a bear trap there now? <sighs> wow. I don't, I don't get this. I don't get this AI right now. As long as I don't find one in the vent. I remember like the one of the earliest. I couldn't record it, which is what I found it super unfortunate. One of the earliest builds of the game. There's a fucking. There's a bear trap that was literally in the vents. 
on the side wall of the vents right before this fan. It was weird. It was right when when you climb through the fan. That's the end of the demo. It was just there was a bear trap just sitting there. And I was like, what? What? Didn't make sense. I was so confused. But. I climbed through the vents, it snapped shut, but it didn't kill me, and I was able to escape. It was very fun. Or, it was funny. Mm. Alright, the clock opened. Finally some progress, without dying before then. Now one of the things I wanted to bring up, because I think I lost the footage, where I was playing the game before, which is why there's been a delay since my upload of, uh, Stay out of the house because I had promised it earlier, but I couldn't give it. The reason being the version I, the version I had, uh, was bugged as soon as I went to the Jesus statue room. Uh, but I had found a secret that I think was in that recording, so I'm going to re-show it just in case it wasn't that. Um, I found where the TV was, but just nothing plays, so I know where to play the VHS tape. Actually, wait. You put the plank away. Then I can show you guys the TV, um, which is sort of a nice secret. It's I would say I haven't found it, but it's always been there. There. Down below. Is he coming up the stairwell now? Fuck. But yeah, you'd think, oh hey, look at this room. It's all normal. There's a fucking hole here. Just look at that. Anyways, he, he could be coming up. I have no idea where he is. But yeah, we'll go up there to put the VHS tape in. But there, it's it just shows the that TV that CTV logo. That's all it basically does. And then it plays the sermon. It looks glitchy. It doesn't seem like anything too significant, unlike non massacre videotapes, which talked about the clown. So here, I'll show this since I've never done this before in recording. Oop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Like, pro it, it's like, this has always been here, I think. Since the beginning, or since you could access this area. But I just never saw it. Which is kind of funny. Mm. Where the fuck is he? Okay. And in you go. CFV. There we go. As long as he doesn't show up. See, it just does this, and it's just the sermon, dude. I don't get it. That's supposed to be that weird thing where it's like the. That one movie where I can't remember the name. It's just the, the these th people are like they're the aliens. Mm, doesn't look like it. Like where if you like pause the video at specific times, it shows like flickers of their alien face sort of shit. Is he literally here or what? I I don't even. Make me paranoid. The dot shows him like on the second floor, the first floor. No idea. He's just close by on another floor. Make me paranoid. Alright, but with that all said and done, my recording being 27 minutes, but a lot of that's going to be cut. Uh, we go outside, we get the duct tape, we go back here, we get the last battery, and that we could be maybe near the end of the demo as long as nothing bad happens. No glitches, no bugs. And we beat it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Whew, okay. A little stressed. Anyway, okay. duct tape. Help me, please. Mm. Shit. Make sure you just don't get spotted. As far as I could learn, he spots you super quick out here. 
should be obvious since there's lights beaming everywhere. Just gotta wait for him to open the fucking door. And hope he doesn't see me. I'm I'm just tilting left. So I'm not sure if he can see you visibly as if your whole body's sticking out. Or if tilting means he shouldn't really be able to see you. We'll find out. Alright, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm curious to inspect the cage just once more. As soon as I do, he's just gonna fucking come out, I just know it. Can I open it? Hmm, not like my cage now. Where the fuck is this bastard? I just, the sonar just doesn't detect him at all. Hopefully he's not stuck somewhere. Oh, wait, I can just open it. Oh. Thankfully it was already unlocked, because I guess I, I legit... There's no luck for me to do it. So it's as soon as you access up there, I'm hoping the door just simply unlocks. Ah, uh, shit, what are we going to do? We got duct tape, right? Yes. Okay. Well, we know where to get, we gotta go. As long as we don't step on a bear trap. Oh. Upstairs? Whatever, you can stay in the bathroom. I'm still curious, though, what this room is for. Um, this thing's poking out for some reason. That a buzzing noise. That buzz has always been there. I'm so curious what's that making that noise. Alright. You also gotta think, what does this fix? If not just the fan. I think it's just the fan. Uh, there we go. No red flagging. We're not allowed to die. We're not allowed to fucking die. Uh, I guess we can go through the vents again. Why not? I was happy he didn't come outside here. That would really fucking have sucked. So I'd rather not get spotted. He sees you so easily out here. Alright. Alright, alright. Battery? Okay, I feel like it should go down there, but it went up there. No matter. Let me see. As long as he doesn't pop out and start chasing me out of nowhere. I think he's actually stuck upstairs. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's stuck upstairs for some reason. Oh. Ooh. Excellent. That G looks like it's in a weird place, and congratulations, but... 0.5.5, I beat the demo. That's just the end of the game, though. There's definitely going to be some, probably some added stuff, like... The female in the cage asking for rescue. How could that be implemented in a way where it makes it so it's difficult to rescue her and get out of the house? And have two people, like, escape with one other person? Like... Uh, I would think that'd be interesting if you could have two endings, like one where you escape on your own, another where you escape with the person in the cage. But being how so close together that is, I feel like things just have to be moved around a little bit. So instead of whatever's in the can, the batteries, um, I don't know, like are positioned differently. Because otherwise, it just feels like there's a few things missing, like the buzzing room room. If not that, the game is getting closer and closer to its actual release with it getting more refined, more 
tweaked and tuned to be appropriate for a Steam release. So I hope you enjoyed 0.5.5's demo end, which may be very close to at least how the official final game will be like uh, in terms of like, you know, beating the game. You get the key out of the can, you unlock the door, you fucking get out. Whether you can take the prisoner with you, or the hostage, or the victim, who knows. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this finally gotten to 0.5 and beating it just as you guys wanted because you guys love puppet combo games and i love them too it's it's okay i understand the feeling so i hope you enjoyed it did please leave a like comment hit that subscribe button become a subscriber hit that notification down below for updates and videos thank you for watching until the next time